Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from DRDO. So DRDO, ARDE branch is actually recruiting for junior research fellows and they are recruiting uh, the branches Electronics, Mechanical and Computer Science. Okay. So we are going to see all details regarding this JRF recruitment. Okay. So the recruitment is happening from DRDO and its branch called ARDE that is Armament Research and Development Establishment. Okay, so this branch which is located in Pune, so the job location will be in Pune. So it is recruiting for JRF for various categories. So uh, let us see the branch, uh, branch wise details and vacancy details. So first one is electronics branch. Here the qualifications that are eligible are electronics, electronics and telecommunication, electronics and communication. Okay, so uh, these are the branches that they are calling for. And the qualification exact requirement is like this. For applying for the JRF vacancy, you should be either having B BTEC in these respective branches with first class, that is first class B BTEC in these branches with net or gate qualification, or you should be having MSc uh, in the same branches with first class and also net qualification, or you should be having if you don't have net or gate qualification. No problem, but you should be having ME or MTech. Okay, that is ME or MTech in the branches. That is electronics, electronics and communication, electronics and telecommunication. And you should be having first class. That is first division ME MTech. And also in B VTech, you should be having first class. Actually, if you examine these JRF uh, vacancies or JRF notifications from DRDO, this exact qualification they are actually asking for all the JRFs. Okay, so whichever video I have made, in all those videos or in all those notifications, this was the qualification. Okay, so when you are hearing the term uh, JRF, you should know that if you have this qualification only, then you are eligible to apply. Okay, so this is a qualification requirement. Same next one uh, for the computer science branch. So for the electronics, there is three vacancies. Okay, next is computer science. There is only one vacancy. Uh, the JRF for computer science. The qualification they are asking is B BTEC in computer science with uh, net or gate qualification or MSc computer science with first division uh, with net qualification. Okay, they are not asking ME or MTech. Okay, so ME, MTech people cannot apply there. Next is junior research fellow, there is JRF in mechanical. There is seven vacancies. Maximum opening is actually for the mechanical branch. Qualifications they are asking is B BTEC in mechanical or metallurgical with first class. And also you should be having net or gate qualification or if you have MEM tech in this uh, same branches and we, if you have first class and also you should be having BB tech first class okay then you are eligible the stipend the monthly stipend that you are going to get is 31,000 is the monthly stipend okay and also regarding the tenure or the duration of this research uh, research or this position it is initially for a period of two years, but again, it is extendable up to two more years. Okay, so that is how they are generally calling JR. So if you if you see this notification in the beginning itself, uh, they have given this thing. The uh, JRFs they are actually uh, that is initially it is for a period of two years, but it is extendable as per JRF rules. But we know that it will be maximum up to two more years. That is two plus two, four years. Okay, four years is guaranteed in most of the cases. Okay. Next, the age limit is maximum age limit is 28 years, but then again, there is age relaxation for all the reserved categories as per Government of India reservation rules. Okay, now talking about the selection process, selection process they have actually given interview slash return test, but most commonly there will be interview only because uh, for the other notifications which I have uh, read, they are only conducting video conferencing based interview. So, most commonly there will be video conferencing based interview only but anyway you have to prepare for interview slash written test okay now talking about the application procedure so towards the end of this notification you can see that there is an application form given so you have to take a printout of this application form fill it up and along with the uh, the the copies of your certificate in uh, along with the certificates which are self-attested okay so self-attested copies of certificates you have to send to the given address okay address they have actually given in the notification now you can see it on the screen also i'll be posting that in the description okay so you have to send to the given address that is the application 
procedure okay and your hard copy of the envelope should reach there on or before 15th of april so there is actually enough time for applying and also they have uh, given the date of interview or test which will be on 27th of may okay 27th may 2021 is the date of interview or written examination so everything they have given actually in detail so uh, if you are interested in doing jrf uh, jobs or if you are interested in doing this research kind of jobs then you should always try for this because drdo is a very good organization to start your career with and also the stipend they are providing is very good okay even though it is for a period of uh, two or four years you should always try for these type of uh, jobs because they are not asking any experience as such but you, sh you should be having net or gain qualification or if you if you are having me or mta qualification also then you are eligible okay so that is the qualification details and everything so we have seen all details regarding this recruitment from drdo so if you are interested please to apply for it as soon as possible the last date or the envelope the the application form hard copy and also the certificates uh, self-attested certificates should reach their honor before 27th of uh, april sorry 15th of april but you should apply for it as soon as possible okay so that's all about the recruitment news from drdo so if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching